welcome back now in this video we will add a logo for the splash screen so let's go ahead and start working on that so below this box decoration what I'll say we'll have a child and as a child we will take the center widget okay in which we will have a child as a column okay now writing there first I will set the property which will be main axis alignment okay this will just take the alignment and set it to center for the logo that we are about to create so further we will have children okay and right in there let's do some padding in here comma and take this down from here so right in the padding I will take a padding property and we're gonna have edge insect right in here we will go with the dot all it will apply to the all side it is going to be 8.0 and again we will have a child and now in there we will have an image dot asset with the help of that we will show the logo okay now in here string and now we will provide the path for the logo that we are about to show it on the split screen you guys will notice that whenever we will write code for that so what I'll do right in the asset folder as you guys can see right in here open that and we will go towards the images that one and right in here that's the logo for the display screen that we are about to show so now it's right inside the assets so in here we will say assets and guys the spelling must be same okay look out for that then slash it's right inside the images folder there we go okay now in here we will write images and then slash we will go with the name of the image that is logo dot png comma now we will give the width let's set it to 3 fury final that's gonna be good in here add the constant modifier why it's not showing the suggestion you will just see or you can manually write in here cons all fine now we are done with the image dot acid we just provide the logo and what I'll do now I'll just simply hold to load the app but I have already hold to load the app so there is no need of that if you guys didn't hold to load the app first do it from here and you guys will notice the output so I have already hold to load the app there is no need of that I will just simply press the control s and you guys will notice the logo there we go with the logo for display screen it's working totally fine and you guys can see the output right here and you can also play with the width you can set it to 390 like that then press the control s you guys will notice the output okay so i think 350 was fine that is good now let's move further down below in here i want to show some text and it's going to be like sell purchase or let's say exchange your or home appliances okay so we will show that tag so first we will give some height between the logo and the text that we are about to create so right in the middle there will be kind of height so for that what I'll do below this padding we will have a size box and we will provide the height let's set it to 20 and in here comma now below that we will have a central widget right in the center widget in here comma and take this down now child you will take the text as a child okay in which we are about to show the text that I was talking about so it's gonna be sell comma purchase or exchange your all home 
appliances. You can give the message whatever you want according to your personal choice. So I'll just show this text and put comma right in here, scroll it down in here at the cons modifier so the yellow line will be gone later on we will add it to that for now do not add it because we are about to add some code so if you guys press the control s you guys will notice that tax down below in here okay just go ahead and control s there we go sell purchase or exchange your old home appliance here. now what i'll do it's just simple tax you will do some style for that so it's gonna look more beautiful for that in here you will say style and as usual text style now take this down first we will provide the font size you will give it to 15.0 comma in here now just press the control s and you guys will notice so it's a little big and if you guys want to go for further more then do it like that okay i think 15 was good control s there we go now you will provide the color so we will go with the color stored black or you can choose whatever you want it's already black but i'll just write the code for that okay that is fine you can change the color according to your personal choice now we will make it bold let's make it bold so what I'll do font weight and we will go with the font weight dot bold press the control s and you guys will notice okay it's kind of bold now let's add a font family for that so in here font family and we will go with the varela so in here put the name for the varela and we have already add that font right in the postback.yaml right in the start videos okay guys now in here comma and that is fine let's add the cons modifier to the center widget so the yellow line will be gone there we go okay now press the control s and you guys will notice the font family for that tax okay it's kind of like that now and if you guys want to go with the signature then in here write signature press the control s and you guys will notice the output okay you can also change that to 25 so it will look more visible like that okay sell purchase or exchange your whole home appliances I think Varela was fine because the signature is a little bit complicated. I'll go with the Varela again. So Varela control S that is fine. You will end this video right in here and you will start working further right on the splash screen in the next video. So see ya.